a production of the turtleroom.com education conservation survival the spider tortoise is found only in the arid region of the coastal areas of southwestern madagascar their habitat is a biologically unique ecoregion which is severely threatened by unsustainable agricultural practices such as livestock herding, charcoal production, and arable planting. Habitat consists of sandy areas with spiny vegetation. They do not tend to utilize rocky areas as does the radiated tortoise. When preparing fresh foods for our tortoises, only high quality organic items are selected. This salad includes green zucchini, chopped succulent plants, and orchard grass. Cucumber and mushroom are added as a treat. This footage has been filmed during the dormant period, when spider tortoises will remain fairly inactive. During this time, it can be extremely helpful to bathe and weigh the tortoises to ensure that everyone is healthy. Spider tortoises have been documented as growing at different speeds. Mittens is less than half the size of Salami, who is the same age and has been raised under the same exact conditions. It is believed in captivity that even for their small size, spider tortoises do not need much space. We provide our tortoises with much more space than necessary and find that live succulent plants provide an around-the-clock opportunity to graze. Despite her small size, Mittens has been more active than all other spider tortoises reared by the turtle room. The common spider tortoise appears from its favorite hideouts during the wet season. This emergence is most often triggered by heavy rains. To our knowledge, no studies have been conducted into whether or not spider tortoise have the specialized nasal flap like that of the giant Aldabran tortoise, which allows it to drink through its nose. However, their behavior, as seen here, coupled with the similarity of Malagasy and Aldabran tortoises, make for an interesting thought. When working with such a rare species, one must take extra time to ensure detailed notes are taken at any time possible and precise measuring equipment should be used to monitor growth. Salami is our biggest, strongest tortoise, and probably our laziest. Spider tortoises earn their common and Latin names from the radiating carapace markings that resemble a spider's web. The shell is a cream color and the black pattern extends outward in all directions from the areola of each vertebral and coastal skew. Older adult specimens may lose their patterning with age and take on a uniform tan or cream color. Its head is proportionately small, with a darker brown or black color above, and the chin, neck, and parts of the face are yellow. The plastron of Pixies arachnoides arachnoides, or the common spider tortoise, is entirely devoid of markings and it is tan or yellowish in color. The plastron also has an interior hinge that can close completely and touch the carapace, when the tortoise is threatened. Nugget is probably our most beautiful tortoise. She has the most yellow color and has perfect scutes. Rearing, breeding, and especially incubating spider tortoise eggs has been viewed as a difficult undertaking in the past. Imports were difficult to acclimate. However, captive bred individuals are now changing the general view of spider tortoises. New methods in incubation have been utilized by Timothy Beer, of Tortuga Inn and Suites. Previously, eggs were warmed to 86 degrees Fahrenheit immediately after being laid, continuing this warming for five weeks. The eggs would then be cooled to between 60 and 70 degrees Fahrenheit for eight weeks before going back into the incubator for the duration. This year, they were cooled immediately after being laid to between 60 and 70 degrees Fahrenheit for five weeks. They then went into the incubator and started to develop. It seems that the key is the cooling period and the overall incubation time has been cut down by Timothy by five to six weeks. It is important to note, however, that both warm and cool techniques have been used with great success. Being that this is their downtime, the tortoises don't waste much time retreating back to their hides and burying themselves under the substrate. Please visit theturtleroom.com for more information on these and other important Chelonian species.